I'm Darren from EW. Welcome back to Comic-Con. I'm here with the cast of Once Upon a Time. Very exciting. Uh, we've had some new additions to the cast uh, this year, just recently announced. Uh, the character Merida will be joining the show. Can you guys talk about how she fits into the already rather large cast of characters Once Upon a Time? <laughs> Can we talk about that? I don't about think we're allowed, allowed to. Yeah. Yeah. We're allowed to. You will find out yeah. very soon. Very she soon. is yet another strong female character that's, that's going to finish this. Girl power. Well said, John. Another Giles. strong yeah. redhead. Yay! Yeah. Redhead. Mm. Redhead power. Redhead. <laughs> That'll be the motto for, for, for this season. Um, we've also had some news that you guys probably can't talk about at all, but uh, there's some rumors of, of, of a new edition of Camelot this yes. season yes. To, yes. to the already large multiverse yes. of, of Once Upon a Time. Uh, we needed one more land. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's funny. I mean, yeah, like, like, do you guys kind of find after a while, is it hard to keep track? Like, do, do they have a, like, a four dimensional map somewhere? No, we just stopped have? keeping track. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good idea. We need <laughs> but Camelot, Camelot is an enchanted forest, isn't it? Mm. Can we I don't think so. Uh, what does it do to no, the show? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, right. No, it is not in the Enchanted Forest, Jen. Sorry. But, uh, but it could be. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? It's getting weird. <laughs> really, though, aren't we all in the Enchanted Forest when you get Aww. right down? Well, uh, uh, it's just a uh, bad story. Uh, <laughs> Adorable. Um, each year, the show seems to get bigger. Is uh, what I'm kind of trying to get at. And uh, how does how is it for you guys? You know, some of you have been there since the beginning. Mm -hmm. It feels like the ambitions of the show sort of grow each season. One example is that one character is breaking pretty bad this season. Mm -hmm. uh, your image is up all around Comic Con right now, looking very evil indeed. Uh, yeah. What's it been like playing the darker side of Emma? I mean, I'm just at the beginning of it, but it's really fun. It's been great. I, I feel like I'm getting a taste of what Lana and Bobby and all of our villains have gotten to be doing over the last few years. Um, it's it's a whole different side of Emma, for sure. Say, oh, Lana, have you given her any evil tips? <laughs> uh, Lana, Lana, Lana. We're going to have an evil lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk about evil looks. And <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, I do sort of feel like uh, one of the fun things once upon a time is that you always get to play different variations of your characters, you know, yes. whether in the past mm -hmm. or in the future. Uh, like, what, Curses we, can do anything. Mm -hmm. We just like uh, go around here. Uh, what was your favorite version of your character, uh, mm -hmm. whether in, in whether in you know before or the aftermath or in alternate worlds? Uh, I like being green the most, and I like flying my broomstick. But it was really fun at the end of season four where we all got flipped and everyone switched, and yeah. she was mm -hmm. the evil queen, and you were Snow White, and then I just got to be delightful, <laughs> which is. <laughs> Which I'm not. You're I'm, always I'm horrible. Horrible. Oh. Oh. on set, but not when the cameras are rolling. I mean, Selena's a psycho, and it was so fun to be so lovely to my sister. I can't believe I'm meeting you. You're just so fantastic. It was really fun, and we all had such a giggle playing against type for that episode. It seems like yeah, like that's one of the fun things about the show is as expansive as the mythology is, which is very expansive. It seems like uh, the, the, the the opportunities as an actor you get to really do mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit. Yeah, so, do you have really any kind of like, favorite moments that you've played over the years? Me. Perhaps, uh, uh, yeah, well, well, I think uh, I kind of like old bad boy Hook, the, uh, sort of when he was a bit of a villain. I kind of like that when he was uh, a bit flirty with Cora. I kind of, <laughs> you know, had heavy I'm eyeliner right on. Yeah. 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 I know. Uh, no, 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 hey, <laughs> heavy, look, heavy guy I'm just liner. saying. No, modern hook. I think that is my favorite hook. The one in the relationship yeah. with him as well. Is by far my favorite. I was gonna say, yeah. Good recovery. Who, who, who wore the, the most eyeliner on the show? Was it was it any of the female characters combined or hook when you were there? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Well uh, I don't want to get into any spoilers, but uh, what can people expect in the most vaguely defined terms when Once Upon a Time comes back, besides one of the, the formerly great people being uh, a little bit less 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 good than she mm -hmm. used to be? I mean, I would say that we're all kind of coming back to the original cast. Yeah. And um, you know, really focusing on yeah, the Avengers. The Avengers are joining. Once upon a time. No, no, no. Oh no, my we gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, we were the Star Wars is joining Once Upon a Time. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Once upon a rumors. Once upon a time returns this fall. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you.